Something you see a lot of um, on the North York Moors are these uh, footpaths you can see, like this, made out of slabs of stone, like embedded in the ground. Can you imagine how labour intensive that is? Unbelievable. And most of these are done, they run for miles, some of these, and, uh, and mostly we were done in like the 17th and 18th centuries. Amazing stuff. Crack it. <laughs> special place for uh, Harry for readers of Harry Potter and that's Hogsmeade station Harry would get off his train and uh, go to the Hogsmeade Castle, or whatever it's called. I really don't know what it's called. Anyway, it's a pretty cool railway station. It's uh, it's operated on a steam a steam um, rail line between Pickering and Gromont across the North Yorkshire Moors. It's like 20 odd miles. And it's run on a purely volunteer basis, um, and they use these old steam locomotives, which are dead cool. It's in a town called Gothland, and uh, it's a very popular tourist attraction because here, because of the spectacular scenery that the train travels through, and also um, they serve, they have a dining car and they serve these evening meals. One of my best friends used to be the chef on there, actually, and uh, when we were growing up, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's kind of been, it's like a, a, a moment in time. It's been restored and kept the way it looked in the 1950s. Pretty badass. I haven't actually been here since I was a kid. It's quite amazing. Anyway, it's in a town called Gothland, which is um, where they filmed a TV series called uh, Heartbeat, which was set on the North Yorkshire Moors. And uh, it was a very popular TV series in Britain and it ran for 18 seasons. 18 seasons! That's like 24 episodes a season, each an hour long, for 18 years. Jeez, from 1992 to 2010. Um, and Gotham was, it was renamed for the TV series called Aiden's Field. Um, never really watched it. <laughs> I actually don't know anybody that watched it, but was it? it was a really popular series. I think its height was getting like 13 and a half million viewers a, an episode, which is uh, pretty good going in a James Herriot or Creatures Great and Small kind of way. But yeah, and I'm surprised I'm here alone. It's like completely deserted. You'd think for a, a Potter tourist attraction like this, there'd be throngs of people, but just bugger all. There's, I've only found one reference to Harry Potter, and that's a Gryffindor flag in a door of the station shop over there, which is, wow, you know what I mean? And of course, you know, as it was the 1950s, you can just, 
you can just walk onto the track. See? That's not dangerous at all, is it? Well, that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.